Today we're talking about Hank UV lights because for a long time he only gave you one choice of emitter, but recently a 5 watt emitter has come out. Now, visually, they look very similar. How can we tell which one's which? They do look a little differently visually, but it's hard to tell. But I noticed that if you put it on moonlight, turns out that the 5 watt has a much larger phosphor area. So the 5 watt being on the left here and the normal one being on the right, meaning the one that Hank's been selling for a while now. Now, during this video, I'm going to be taking a look at both of these without a ZWB2 filter. Just because of the fact that one, Hank sells it that way, so I'd like to give you an idea of what everything looks like without that filter, because it's an accessory you're gonna have to go find. But secondly, it makes it easier to test, and we'll see that later on. The ZWB2 filter is like a must, in my opinion. You put this on there, and only the UV gets out. UV emitters put out a large amount of blue light as well, and the blue light can interfere with what's fluorescing. At the end of the video, I'll give you a comparison between with the ZWB2 filter and without. Trying to figure out which of these lights is brighter is gonna to prove to be a little tricky. You could do it visually, just based on your perception, but there's that psychological gap that sometimes gets in the way when lights are actually very close together. Usually you need almost a doubling of the lumens to tell the difference. We could do it on a lux meter inside an integrating sphere or tube in this case, but those are calibrated for around four to 5,000 K and uh, it's very unlikely that this blue light's gonna be picked up. So let's take a look what we got here. First, we can start with, let's just get, I got, there we go. We can start with a standard color chart. All right. Now this, these aren't fluorescent. These are just normal colors, but let's take a look visually. Okay. So we got, this is the normal Hank UV. And that's what it looks like. And then here's the five watt UV. Well, between those two, I think I'd give the edge to the five watt. But again, that's the thing I'm talking about. It's really difficult to tell. So let's try and grab something that's actually fluorescent. So let me close up that chart. I got this Dayglow fluorescent mask here. Okay, do the same kind of just visual test. Okay, that's turbo on the normal one. Here comes turbo on the five watt. And again, I would give it, I would give it to the five watt. But you can see that it's really close. Before we get to the lumen tube, let's take a look what it looks like in a normal environment. Just all flash around my garage for a second. Okay, I'm in the garage with the lights off. Let me hit you with a 4000K D4V2 so you can see kind of the surroundings. First off, the normal UV Hank light, and I'm ramping up slowly, and that flash means I hit high. Okay, you can see some things are fluorescing, some things aren't. Remember, this is without the ZWB2 filter, this is just optical glass. Okay, and turn it off. Now let's do the five watt. Slowly ramping up and the flash means I hit high. Now you're starting to see what I was fearful of, which is, can't really tell the difference. Let's AB this a little more, turn it off, go straight to high on the normal, straight to high on the five watt. I mean, maybe, okay, let's do normal, five watt. I mean, I'd give a slight edge to the five watt, but it's super close. Now we're in a different corner of my garage. It's kind of a blank wall here. It's got one of my kids' drawings taped to it. And there's a little bit of damage because we're in the garage here. And uh, it's been repainted a couple times. Let's take a look at what it looks like under UV light. First up, the normal Hank UV light. This is on high. Let's take a look at what this looks like on turbo. All right, and you see it's not that much different. And remember that I got my white balance and camera exposure locked. All right, that's high. 
Try again. Turbo. Now let me switch to the five watt. This is high. Turbo. A little brighter. High. Turbo. High. So let's see what we can do with the lumen tube. We've got the normal UV mule on the right and the one with the five watt emitters on the left. All right, so let's get in here and notice that this lumen tube that was made by Texas Ace is pretty awesome because what comes up on here is gonna be exactly lumens. Okay, so I will ramp up first. I hit high, it's only registering one or two lumens. And now I'm on turbo and it's, well, make sure I'm on turbo here. Yeah, I am. It's measuring two lumens. See, that doesn't really work. I don't expect to see anything different with the other one. Let's take a look. Ramp up. One or two. Turbo. Yeah, two. Presents a problem. But I have an idea. What if I convert the UV light into visible light? So I've got these little diffuser caps. They're made of glow-in-the-dark material. So I'm going to fix the material to each of the lights and let's do it again okay there you go let me show you visually what it looks like really quickly you can see it's very bright very bright okay now let's try it again so we'll take the normal hank uv and stick it in there and i'm going to be very careful to insert these the same amount so I'm gonna ramp up, okay, hit high, and we're at about, you know, 300 or so lumens, and turbo, about three, let's just say 350, it's dropping. Oh, and I even dropped the glow-in-the-dark gasket in there, I'll have to retrieve that. Okay, let's get that out of there. All right, now let's try the other one. So it's somewhere between 300 and a high and 350 on turbo. Let's see what this one does. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is already 400 on high. And, oh wow, almost six to 700 on turbo. One thing I realized as I was checking it visually was that at low ramp, it appeared that the regular Hank light was a little brighter. So check this out, moonlight. Moonlight. Look at that. The lower wattage emitter is brighter at lower ramp. Okay, now let's test this out. Let's go to level one. Moonlight one. Moonlight one. Okay. Okay, now let's measure them. So at ramp one, I'm getting 11 lux for the normal one. And at ramp one, I'm getting only seven, seven lux for the five watt. Okay, I did some testing and I'm rounding all these numbers severely because this Texas Ace lumen tube is plus or minus 10%. On the normal Hank light, at level seven, I was getting about 240 lumens, 190 and so forth. And on the five watt, I was getting 400, 250, and so forth. So it turns out that my perception was that it was always brighter at the low end. But so that's only if you're going to be operating this thing under ramp three that it matters. And I also want to point out that my lumen tube isn't very accurate at really low numbers like 10 down to one lumens. So I would trust my eyes on that. And I did notice that it was almost twice as bright on moonlight. Again, if that's something that matters to you, you'd actually prefer the normal one over the five watt because it's just brighter at lower ramp. This one is brighter. If you remember looking at my garage in the real world test, there was very little difference visually. So if you got the money to burn, go for the five watt. Otherwise, I'd just stick with the normal emitters on this. 
Okay, as promised, I've installed the ZWB2 filter on the 5 watt here, and I'm leaving the other one with the clear optical glass. Let's turn out the lights and see what the difference is. I'm gonna make sure to not use turbo so that I kind of level the playing field, but even so, you're gonna find that the one with the optical glass will yield more light because blue light is escaping, but the one with the ZWB2 filter will fluoresce things more noticeably. All right, let's turn off the light. So this is the normal light at ramp four out of seven, and you can see that things are fluorescing, but there's enough blue light that I can make out the door on the left here pretty clearly. Now let's go to the other light at ramp four with the ZWB, and you'll notice that the things that fluoresce, fluoresce much brighter. These are all much brighter, but the door is really dark. Okay, let's do an AB here. So this is without the filter, and this is with the filter. So to me, this is just really obvious what you want. You want it with the filter.